Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Design Spark mechanical tutorial, and I'm going to be going over uh, the layer option in Design Spark mechanical. So we're not going to really be creating anything specific. We're just going to be talking about the layers palette. So we'll go new, new design. Now, um, I'm not really even sure why they have layers. To me, they don't seem very useful, but a subscriber had asked about them. So I'm going to, um, I think his name was Bob. So we're going to go ahead and talk a little bit about, about the layers. So we'll go ahead and uh, create some parts on here. We'll go to sketch. I'm just going to create a few parts. They're not really anything specific. Just so we have uh, um, a bunch of different ones. So we're going to go uh, back to sketch. We'll go back to uh, top view. Let's do control minus on the keyboard. I'm going to put a few more uh, parts out here. We'll just define this from center, maybe a rectangle. And then I'll put a rectangle over here. And then maybe uh, just do a few of them. I'll put a circle here. And then another circle down here. Okay, now we're going to end sketch. I just don't want these parts touching because I want them to be separate. So we'll go back to the uh, isometric view. So what I'm going to do is pull this part up and I'm going to do no merge. So it shows up in the tree here. We'll just pull that up uh, five. Okay, and then we're going to do the same on this one. Click here, we're going to do the no merge. And then we're going to type 5. And then we'll do this one here, no merge, 5. And then this one, make sure the no merge is on, 5. Okay, so now we have all these separate parts over here. So the thing that uh, kind of puzzles me about layers um, is you can, you can turn off stuff over here in your uh, structure tree. So that's the first thing you can do. Now, the only thing I've noticed that you can do with layers is there's going to be a base layer, and you can never change that. You can't even rename it. I tried, so what you need to do is go right mouse click, hit New. Then you can change this this one. So we'll, you just double click, and then when, when it lets you, you highlight that. Let's, let's do a blue layer. Okay. Now we're going to do a new one. So right mouse click on that, hit New. And then we'll do, uh, come on. Sometimes it's a little finicky changing. Let's just click out here somewhere. There we go. Uh, we'll call this green. And then we'll right mouse click here, go new. Um, let's Yeah, sometimes it doesn't want to change right away. Uh, supposed to just be able to do two clicks, and it highlights. Let's click on something. Let's click on the green and go back to the red, or this one. Hmm. Okay, we're able to change the blue, the green. This one doesn't seem to want to work. All right, well let's uh, let's get started here. Let's go. We're gonna go blue, and then we're gonna come over here. We're gonna select this this piece here. Now we're gonna go over here to this color, and we're gonna go to blue, and then we're gonna right mouse click here, and we're gonna uh, assign to layer. Okay, so now this this piece is on this blue layer. So now you can turn it off quickly. So this is the only benefit I see to using layers is if you have a lot of different pieces and you want to turn them off, you could turn them off here. But the odd part about it is I guess once it puts it on a layer, it's not it's up here. It's right here. So you could technically click there and that's going to go away. So you could turn it off there, but you can't assign colors up here, I don't think. So we got a red one. Let's see if we can change this part again. That's just not wanting to change. Let's, let me make another one. Let's right mouse click new. Let's 
This one's not wanting to change the other. And as I, as you add more, yeah, there, right now I can change. Well, I thought I could change this one, but I guess I can't. Yeah, it's a little finicky there. So let's go to a green one. So we'll go to this one and we'll multiple click on this one. And now we're going to come up here, pick a green color. Let's pick a bright green. And then we're going to go right mouse click on this and, and make it the uh, assign to layer. Okay, so now we have this green. So you could turn off green, you could turn off blue, but you can never turn off the active layer, which is going to be probably this one. Yeah, see it says can't can't hide current active layer. So this is the active layer. So you can't can never change that. Maybe that's why we couldn't change it. Um, so let's go ahead and delete this. I think that's an active layer too. So just delete. Um, this should be the active layer up here, and then you should be able to change these. But for some reason, I'm just not able to with this one. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Let's make this pink. It's just kind of uh, temperamental with being able to change the names on these. So let's go ahead and click uh, multiple click on that one. Come down here to pink. We're going to hit that pink color. And then we're going to right mouse click uh, assign to layer. Okay, so now we have, uh, we could turn, okay, so now that it made this the active layer. So I think with what happens with these is uh, your last one is going to be your active layer. You could turn all, everything else off except the active layer. And then you could turn it back on as you're working on them. Uh, if you, now if you want to reassign a different one, like uh, let's say this one here we wanted to make active. We could go, let's go right mouse click, hit a new here. And then you have to scroll down for the new ones. And let's call this, uh, yeah, it's really, uh, maybe it's because I don't have a mouse. I'm actually using a, a laptop. Uh, there it goes. Okay, we'll call this the main, main layer. Okay, so then uh, we want to give this a color. So we'll, we'll multiple click on that so, so it selects everything. We're going to make this uh, this color here. And then we're going to right mouse click on this layer. And we're going to, or actually this, let's go right mouse click here. Oh, you could just rename too. That's probably easier. I don't know why I was trying to multiple click on these. Just right mouse click on this. Oh, well, that's weird. Rename. Come down to rename and it'll highlight it for you. That's easier than trying to click because it seems like sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. So now we have all these layers in here. Can't turn off the main one. Um, make active is what you want to do. So if we wanted to make this pink one active, I think we could go make active here. And then it's going to be... We're not going to be able to turn off this one. Okay, so whatever layer you decide to make your active layer, that's the one that's not going to turn off. So if we wanted this one to be active, right mouse click, make active. Now we can turn off. We can't turn off that, but we can turn off every other one or every one, but the active layer. So you can never you can never turn that off. <clears throat> so that's going to be the, the main one. So if you were working on something, this is the only... Uh, benefit I see to using layers is if you're working on something that had a lot of pieces that were maybe uh, you know with all of them on it got confusing uh, you'd just be able to turn them off or turn them on like this we'll scroll up and then you could add new ones and then whatever one was your main layer that you were working doing the, the, the main like maybe your first layer I'll give you an example uh, this would be your first layer because this was the first thing that we created and we're going to draw off of that. So that will be your main layer. So once you create that, you can uh, right mouse click on the uh, light bulb and uh, make active. Or is it the color? Right mouse click. Yeah, assign. I guess you can't even do that now. Let's go here. Okay, yeah. So make active. So you could, you just have to do that. So now you have all these colors up here and if you wanted to 
change these to the colors. You could also do that. You call that blue so they so they correspond with the with the layer. So you know you click here, you got the blue one. Let's click off of that. You got the should have the blue one there. Let's turn that off. Oh no, I didn't do that. That was actually the middle one. This is supposed to be brown. So let's call this brown. Okay, so yeah, so this one is going to be the brown. This one here is the blue. So if you want to rename your uh, solids to match what's on your layers, yeah, you go ahead and do that. Now they're going to be, this will be your green down here. Go ahead and rename that. Green. And then this one over here, this is your pink one. I think that's that one there. Okay, so go ahead and click on this one. Rename it to pink. Okay, and this one we didn't change the color. So we could just... Let's change the color on that one. I think we should have changed that. Let's turn it off and see. That's green. That's blue. That's pink. Can't turn off the main one. And this one was the green one. So we just didn't give it a very good green. So let's multiple click on that. Let's change the color. Let's give it a... Oh no, we have two that are green. Let's give this another color. Let's give it a red. Okay, so now you can turn off red. All right, so now this one is going to be red. So we'll go ahead and couple of clicks in there and we'll call this one red. Okay, so now you have all your corresponding uh, structure parts, solids. You have that one as your brown. You go to the next one. That's blue. This one is your red. That's your pink. And that's going to be your green. So, And then you have them down here in your layers as well. This is main layer. This is pink. So you can turn that off. This is your green, turn that one off. This is your blue, you can turn that one off. Uh, this is your red up here, you can turn that one off. So the only thing that's active on the layers now is your main layer, and now you can work on this without uh, interference from the, uh, the other layers. So we could go uh, in here, and then you could do the same thing here, no merge, if you don't want that to to merge. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't work. I noticed it didn't put another solid in there, so it's going to be included on this one. So now, um, you know, once you get to the point where you want to start turning stuff on, just hit that uh, check mark. Now everything is back on. As far as these um, changed line weights, I have no idea what those do. I tried to figure out how that works, but it doesn't seem to really do anything. Uh, for example, you could change this to a really super thick line weight. Doesn't do anything. Uh, and then I tried to go to the display and then to view this in uh, enhanced. Doesn't change. Tried doing the uh, hidden line. Doesn't change anything on the hidden line. Doesn't change anything on the wireframe. Uh, so I'm not really sure what this is, uh, what this, this line weight does here. Um, let's go back to design. I tried to get it to work, so we'll just go back to the regular thin line, or actually this, I think these are on a medium line. And then there's also a line here uh, that does all this. This might actually be when you're drawing. So if you're drawing something on the blue, let's, let's try that out. Let's go to uh, create something on the blue. But let's change that line weight. Let's make it super thick. Okay, okay yeah, that, that's, where, that's where it makes the line. See the line on there is thick. And everywhere else it's thin. Like if we're going to put a part here, see... Okay, so that's where it changes it to the line right here when you're putting it on the part. So let's go ahead and 
Let's change that to a zigzag and see if it makes a difference. See, I don't notice it doing a difference there. So let's turn that back to solid. So that's that's where it affects your uh, your line weight. So it's thicker here when you're drawing your when you're putting in your part. That's really the only difference that I can see. Yeah, it just does it on on when you're putting the part on there. Now this oh there it is now this line is thick plus it's dot dashed. So let's turn it small again and see what happens. Okay, yeah, that's it. See how that line is thinner? Going from top to bottom. And then if we do a really thick line. No, it still doesn't make a difference. It only makes a difference, it seems like, when you're sketching. But Oh, there, there it is. See? But it still doesn't put a super thick line on there. Yeah, I see the same everywhere. So yeah, so uh, let's go to and sketch there. So I'm not 100% sure what these line weights do. They don't really seem like they do much. If someone uh, else is using layers and knows what that uh, these line these two do, this one and then this one, if you guys can know what that's doing, um, uh, let me know. You can put it down there in the comments. But anyhow, that's how you can. Uh, do your layers, turn off stuff, just can't turn off your main. Just hit the light bulb stuff, and then you don't have to worry about turning stuff off in your structure tree. That way everything stays checked, and then when you're ready to uh, turn everything back on, you can just hit the light bulb, stuff comes on. Seems like an easy uh, system. I mean, you could uh, change colors so everything corresponds. Um, and then uh, I think uh, that's about it for layers. We we can rename them. We just know that we can't rename the main layer. Can't do that. And then we could also um, right mouse click and rename. And then we could also uh, click here to add colors. And then we could uh, use the light bulb to turn on and off. And like I said earlier, these these I don't know what they do. And then you also probably want to. Uh, change your the names of your colors here to correspond with what's on the layers here so it doesn't get confusing but and if you want to delete a layer you can right mouse click and delete and then um, your uh, things are going to go back to whatever layers are there so like but your stuff's not going to disappear so if I delete the green it's going to turn red because that's the one only one I have left and then if I delete the red one Oh, I can't actually delete that. That's a main layer. If I delete that one, that becomes red. And then if I delete the main layer, everything's going to be red because we only have one layer. So that's how you use layers. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed watching the tutorial and you got some useful tips out of that. Um, like I mentioned earlier, if anybody in, wants to comment on uh, these, what these are for and how you can actually get them to apply, that would be great. Just put them down in the comments. And thanks again for, for watching.